I had every intent for this to be a pre-Christmas event. Um, somebody's giant magnifying glass video took way freaking longer than it should have. It is a post-holiday dye experiment extravaganza. That was a lot. Yeah, maybe we'll just call it Die Trying 8. I got you some blue gloves. Apparently the purple gloves I bought you last time looked blue, so... So we could just lie and say they're purple. These are purple gloves. <laughs> Somebody sent us this mold, and I want to say it's been at least three years. I apologize if you sent a note with it. I don't have that anymore. So whoever sent this, thank you, and we're going to give it a shot. But over here in this pile, I think we got to start with the snow, right? Yes. So have you ever used this before? Never. But isn't this like the same material that they put in diapers? Oh, is it? Oh, you're not going to put it in a container? Why does it need to be in a container? It's your mat. How much water do you think we need? It might have instructions. I hate instructions. Add one teaspoon of snow powder to a quarter cup of water. Um, you're going to have to dump a quarter cup of water on your mat. Don't you go where the huskies go. <laughs> don't you eat that yellow snow. What? <laughs> don't you... Don't you go where the huskies go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? That's weird. That's so sad. Who were you raised by? Using the Total Boat resin for this. It's a little chilly out here. Okay. Uh, literally nothing's happening. <sighs> Such a disappointment. It might just look cool. So now just put some more on the table. Okay. We want to have as little moisture in here as possible. Yeah, that's that's plenty. Yeah, stick. Oh, or use your finger. That's plenty. Okay. Oh my. Man. Look at that. It looks like crystals now. So now, does that look any different than the one that we've already poured? I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. This is exciting so far. Two clear, sparkly snowflakes. Yes, but look at our bench. Look how festive our bench is. Which one do you want to do next? Cranberry sauce. I, I don't feel this one at all. Why are we even doing cranberry you sauce? You didn't feel the pumpkin. Do people use this at Christmas time? I think so. And two things, it's nasty. So it shouldn't be eaten. I love it. I've never eaten it. Interesting. You've never eaten cranberry sauce? No. You've never had ocean spray cranberry sauce? Never. Oh, today's your lucky day. Oh. I can't believe you've never had this before. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Here it comes. Mm. Oh. oh. What? Oh, that's really wrong. What? <laughs> Yuck, stop it. <laughs> that's wrong. Are those clean gloves? God, I hope so. All right. I don't know. This oh. isn't incorporating oh, very well. Oh, that's bad. Oh, it's turning green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The grape juice did this. Somebody said when I did it with the grape juice, they said it's a pH thing. What do you have to fix this? Oh, will that work? I don't know. If you went to the doctor with that, they'd be like, Oh, stop. Okay. I literally have the chills. Okay, I'm all done. Let's remember, <laughs> this was your decision. <laughs> Just gonna finish no, the whole I'm thing I'm throwing off. this in the trash. Woo! Sparkle gel green. Sugar icings was a viewer suggestion. All right, so while I'm doing this, you're gonna get that ready. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what the consistency of this is gonna be. Let's start with a little and move forward. Ooh, it's coloring it. Ooh. Actually. That's pretty. Actually, it's dissolving pretty well. That, so far, is a really pretty color. That is. Do we want to try a little bit more? Yeah, because we're really good at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taking something good and ruining it. Exactly. Okay. All right, that's enough. Huh. All right. I like it. It's I a do bright too. color. It's going to be translucent, whatever it is. Agreed. But it's pretty. It is pretty, almost like a sea glass. I think 
we should do these next, side by side. Okay, what are they? One is regular Jello, and one is sugar free. Oh, uh, okay. So they might react different. Okay. Honestly, almost every time we've done a dry powder on this channel, it's worked. And somewhere along the line, I lost a glove, and I haven't put it back on. Billie Jean is not my love. She's just a girl who thinks I am the one. The kid is not my side. I can't hit that note. They're <laughs> <laughs> really bitter. Yeah, they're... Woo, that is bitter. All right, one scoop or two? Oh, I thought you were going to eat it. No! I thought you were going to eat it like I did. No, I'm not that Whatever. dumb. It's a teal. And you get a ton if it does look at work. That. This will be like one of the cheapest dyes ever. Because look at the volume there. Into the mold. Oh, the top one's gone almost completely clear. Oh, wow, it really has. Do your best, Vanna White. Does anybody even remember that anymore? Is she still on the air? Yes. Oh, never mind. My apologies to Vanna White and the whole team at, um, oh, that's a much smaller packet. Oh, what the heck? Why is it so tiny? Sugar-free sucks. No, that smells fake. That's gonna taste awful. Mm. Ah! Blech. Oh, that just smells so bad. Oh, that's awful. No bueno. Oh, wow. Perfect. Okay. Did you want to taste this one? No. Wow, we are getting a lot of white. Yeah, we're... Do you know what the best looking one is right now? <laughs> is it the cranberry? It's, it's a cranberry. cranberry. Yeah. I have peppermint sticks in the freezer right now. Oh. Somebody said peppermint sticks, but they also said freeze them. I don't think we're going to need very many. Yeah, they're really brittle. They're, they're just really breaking brittle. apart in my hand. But that's kind of what we want, right? Right. And it will be interesting to see if this makes a difference. Because yeah. then maybe candy corn would have been viable. Maybe. Lid on, right? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I do that? Make sure the lid's clean. It's a nice color. It's pretty. It's pink. Oh. Did you want to try? Here comes the train. It's delicious, right? Yeah. Let me go. It's a pretty color. It's really pretty. It's almost like a rose quartz. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. Hope it doesn't settle like the Toms. While you were gone, I was shooting an artsy Instagram reel. You're a nerd. You missed all the fun. We're post-holiday extravaganza now. And we're gonna do clothes. It should smell amazing. It really should. Oh, it does. It already smells amazing. It already amazing. smells when good. When we start grinding this, we're gonna have clear, 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 booger green, <laughs> and brown. <laughs> wow, okay, so that's as fine as we're getting it. I was expecting it to be finer than that. Oh yeah, that's more than enough for our purposes. All right, let's see. Oops, okay, we're gonna just put all that Use in it there. <laughs> it reminds me of the very first dye trying and the cocoa powder. So did you do coffee one? Nope, never done coffee, but I've used coffee in a project, so I know it works. Oh, okay. Our coffee table that I made out of maple and walnut and the old fire pit, Yeah. I used coffee to dye the pigments. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, so coffee totally works. Yeah, it's not great. All right, we're gonna let these set up, and then we'll see what they come out like. All right, it has been what, 24 hours? And they should be set up, hopefully. It appears to have cured. And it looks whiter than I thought. I think that's just the matte finish. Definitely looks like a snowflake. I like these molds. They're really cool. They're really pretty. So the they all settle to the bottom and it doesn't look like any of them expanded. 
This same thing happened when we tried Orbeez, thinking that they would expand and they don't. Some things just need water. Right. The resin's too thick. Yeah, it's something different about it. We activated the snow and then poured it in and mixed it in. It's also harder to get out. But fairly uninteresting. Maybe if you want a real white pigment, I mean, it sort of works, but it, it settles. More fun to just play with the snow. Agreed. It's time for cranberry sauce. It's gotten lighter in color. Is it? Did it actually set? Because the grape juice didn't. Oh. Ooh. Did it fully cure? It, yeah. It looks like gravy. Right. It looks like a really weak gravy. It is completely opaque. So it, it didn't it didn't mess up the resin mixture. It actually worked. Uh, it's an awful color, and you can't see through it. All right, have I said all the necessary things I need to say? Absolutely. On to the next one. This is the green sparkle gel. Green sparkle gel. This was a viewer suggestion. I'm hoping that it was just that's just the mold that's tinted. Oh, Ooh. yes. That's pretty. Oh, thank goodness. There's one of them at least, yeah. and that's a translucent dye. It has fully set. Looks great. Total, total win. Next up is Team Jello. All right, start with regular. Yep. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Yo, yay! Okay, so the the mold is just messing with us. Uh, they both look great. That's a really pretty color, and this is going to be the best value. Absolutely. There's a packet of of Jello, not the sugar-free ones. It comes with a huge amount, and you saw what we used. We used maybe a teaspoon or half a teaspoon worth of pigment. If you used a quicker set resin and you kept stirring till it was almost at the gel stage, would yeah. it prevent the settling? It might. Yeah, it might. So something like an Alumalite, which cures in like 12 minutes. Yeah. If you were to mix and pour and put it in a pressure pot, I bet, um, I bet that would work really well. Even with the total boat, and that takes two to four hours to cure. It looks really good. It does. Yeah. Sugar-free was greenish, I think. That's a lot of little, wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. I don't know, that looks pretty good too. It does. Oh, oh, we got the mold. We ripped the mold out again. Yeah, so you're holding the standard Jello and I'm holding sugar-free. Um, yeah, the pigment's not as dark, but it's pretty. It is. It's pretty. Move on to peppermint. Um, and it, it, it's suspended mostly, but then you've got these little bits that sort of settled in there. It's funny because when we uh, put it in, it, it looked like just dust. So I'm guessing the dust congealed in little parts because I don't remember seeing anything other than complete dust Agreed. after the afterwards, maybe as it warmed up a little bit. It's not bad. No, I think it's pretty. There's no real line of settle like you get on some of the other ones. It's not bad and it made the shop smell amazing. It did. I wish these things still smelled. It just smells like resin now. Wow. Uh -oh. Something's going bad. It's sticking. Oh, oh, oh wow. It just tore on some of the mold. It's stuck, but that's a pretty color. Huh, I mean, it's chunky, but it's not bad. Kind of makes me think of the 70s. It totally gives us our vibes. I don't know, that's kind of pretty. It's interesting. I wish the red wasn't on there. <laughs> I wish it wasn't too. It almost looks like gold coming through it. <laughs> that looks much better. <laughs> I like it. Okay, well, you're allowed to. Okay, so here we go. In the light box. They actually look a little better in here. They do. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Oh, that is the ugliest thing we made. Oh, look how pretty it is. It sparkles like gold. It is so nasty. <sighs> I like the peppermint. I do like the peppermint. I even like the sugar-free jello. I really like the regular jello. It's the icing gel. It turned out really pretty. Yeah. And this, I mean, I guess if that's the color you want, it's a viable pigment. If you're making a sloth mold. I, I mean, I, it's so white bright that it won't even show up on camera. <laughs> It's just unbelievable. <laughs> and then this is the one without. It's basically just resin. That's what resin looks like. If you want that, just pour some Total Boat in a mold. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, look at that. All right, so clove doesn't fluoresce. Um, ocean spray doesn't fluoresce. Mm -hmm. 
pretty. Peppermint's really pretty. That's not a bad color at all. The blue doesn't fluoresce blue. Quite a few white. Yeah, but... all three of these over here, the, the three on the left all are the same color, but you can definitely see a, a sea green out of this and a really light green out of this one. When we poured these all yesterday, I thought we had all clear and then two nasty colors. Agreed. I was pleasantly surprised. We got some pretty colors. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Thank you guys for coming along for our post holiday dye experiment extravaganza. Here's to the end of 2022 and hoping for good things in the future in 2023. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year.